Raising the nose of the aircraft increases the angle at which the wing meets the airstream and so generates more lift, up to a point. Beyond this point the airstream breaks up, the lift decreases and the aircraft's natural stability takes it into a dive until it picks up speed and the smooth airflow is restored. The air actually moves upwards from below the wing to the top, as it does so moving this little vane and closing a switch to operate the stall warning in the cockpit. OK, that's enough theory. This film was originally made for my university students, which is why it records an experience that you're not going to get on EasyJet. We'll tape a series of wool tufts along the wing, then we'll see them lying flat in normal flight, and then we'll reduce speed and see what happens. Let's get airborne. The arrow on sticks in only a couple of hundred yards. climbed like a rocket, almost a thousand feet a minute and fully loaded, and half as much again with a half load like this. Now let's reduce power, and we'll level out at 3,000 feet and 100 knots, and let's see what happens to our wood tufts. Now they're all lying nice and flat, reflecting the smooth airflow at this speed. Just watch the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the first of the wool tufts beginning to show turbulence as the stall approaches. 70 knots. Start to break as away. the speed comes back you can see the tufts at the back are getting a bit unhappy and the airflow is starting to break up. Now you'll also notice if you look along the wing that as the speed is reduced the aeroplane's nose is raised higher and higher. Wool tufts show the turbulent stalled air spreading from the inside of the wing to maintain smooth airflow over the control surfaces. And again, if you look at the horizon, you'll see that the nose is held in a very steep upward attitude. There you are. When you look at the wool tufts, you will see that the airflow is actually moving forwards at times. The aeroplane is also wallowing about in the sky. It's not really flying. So it's not very happy. Breaking away at the inside of the wing and moving out. And there's the proof that the air, uh, under these conditions, actually moves forward over the wing. You'll notice the motion of the aeroplane is constant. I am not doing anything to the controls. If you want to look at them, they're not moving. I'm holding the stick steady. And the aeroplane's own stability is causing it to nod up and down.